Dr. Swachla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. A lot of patients complain when they are going through IVF, too many blood tests are being done on them and it's causing them pain, discomfort and interfering with their uh, lifestyle. So, so let me try to throw some light on the reasons why your fertility specialist is insisting on these blood tests and what are they concluding from these. There are various uh, stages in which your doctor is asking you for blood tests. To begin with, let's talk about baseline analysis. When you first go to the doctor for assessment, it could be for ovulation induction, it could be for IUI, it could be for IVF or even natural conception. When you want to try naturally also, your doctor will insist for a baseline baseline hormonal evaluation which is done through a blood test. These will throw light on how much hormone levels of uh, AMH anti-mullerian hormone, FSH follicle stimulating hormone, luteinizing hormone, LH, inhibin, estrogen, progesterone is circulating inside your body. All these will give an indication about the well-being of your body. If your uh, hormonal levels are good, it is a direct indication that the hypothalamus axis pituitary axis in your brain is functioning well and your reproductive organs are also behaving the way they should be according to your age so this is called a baseline evaluation it's often accompanied by an ultrasonography by assessment of your tubes all these will give an indication about how your reproductive organs are functioning now suppose you get into treatment ovulation induction and iui might not require too many blood tests except that when the egg is ruptured in IUI, it is made to rupture uh, with an injection, when it is made to rupture, maybe your progesterone levels will be assessed to see if you are in the proper range and IUI, intrauterine insemination of your partner's sperms can be performed. So it's a very simple single test that is usually done during IUI. But during IVF, it's very important to assess the hormonal levels inside your body as i said the baseline tests are definitely done these are done on the day two of your period these will give us an indication how the ovaries are behaving have they calmed down from the last period and from the cycle because it's day two have they calmed down are they getting ready for the next period and is it a good time to start your stimulation estrogen is a very important indicator whether there are cysts present Progesterone is an indicator whether proper bleeding has happened. AMH and FSH of course give us an indication about your ovarian reserve. So these are very critical and after these are performed, injections or hormonal stimulation is done to make your ovaries grow more follicles or eggs. Now during the stimulation period which is usually around 10 to 12 days, estrogen is usually analyzed. This could be done on day 6, day 8 depending on the doctor and depending on the growth of your eggs. These are essentially done to assess how many follicles are growing. Each follicle contributes about 200 to 400 international units of estrogen uh, in the bloodstream. So when these are assessed, they are trying to find out if they are growing accordingly. If more estrogen is there, then there is an indication that uh, there could be ovarian hyperstimulation, which is also correlated with an ultrasonography. Then maybe your doctor will try to reduce the dose of your hormonal injectables. So th all these are a play of hormones of scans and how your doctor then tweaks your uh, hormonal injections to calm your body and to respond properly to the whole IVF procedure. On the day of trigger, now trigger is a very important injection which is given to make the eggs ready to be collected. This is done about 36 hours before your egg is ready to be collected. So on that day E2 again estrogen is assessed to see if each egg is contributing what it should be on that particular day and then the trigger is prescribed after 36 hours of which uh, the eggs are collected. At around the same time, progesterone is also evaluated. If the progesterone is of the right value, then a fresh embryo transfer is planned. This is a very important test and if progesterone levels are high, then an embryo transfer could be cancelled and your embryos may be transferred in a subsequent cycle called a frozen embryo transfer. And as the name suggests, your embryos are frozen uh, safely and the next period or whenever your endometrium indicates that it is uh, you know secreting the right amount of pro progesterone the embryos are transferred back so these tests are very important these hormonal evaluations throw a lot of light are like a movie for your uh, fertility specialist they are seeing how the uh, ovaries are growing how the follicles are growing and how many eggs can be expected from each follicle whether your endometrium is 
growing properly the blood flow is proper so that a fresh embryo transfer or a frozen embryo transfer can be planned these are critical decisions that your doctor takes from these blood analysis if you want to understand more if you have more doubts about ivf and are apprehensive about the procedure as such please feel free to contact us thank you a lot of effort has gone into making this video please like and subscribe us thank you